In 1998, Sony released the hack and slash fantasy game Medieval for the original PlayStation. In it, you play as a knight brought back to life to stop an evil wizard's invasion in order to redeem himself. It sold several hundred thousand copies, received mildly positive reviews, and even got a sequel in 2000. But if you were to think about classic PlayStation 1 games, Medieval would be far down the list when compared to the likes of Spiral the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot, Metal Gear Solid. You get the picture. So can someone please explain to me how Medieval was remade not once but twice? Who thought a PlayStation Portable remake was a good idea? And why would you bring it back in 2019 for the PlayStation 4 of all times? Who asked for this? Seriously, who did? Medieval may be just one game, but it's a prime example of what has become one of the biggest trends in modern video game history. Today on Game Files, we're taking a look at the phenomenon that brought Medieval back to life: remakes and remasters. While publishers, developers, and players like to confuse the two, remakes and remasters are different from each other. Simply put, a remake is a game that recreates the source material without using any of the old game's assets. A remaster, on the other hand, typically re-renders the original's graphics, which are used as a foundation to improve the game. For an example, take a look at Team Ico's Shadow of the Colossus. The original 2005 PlayStation 2 game was remastered in 2011 for the PlayStation 3 by Bluepoint Games, using the original art as a base to improve the visuals. However, it was also remade in 2018 by Blue Point Games again, who remade all of the assets from the ground up, even though the gameplay is the same. Studios and developers have long tweaked, polished, and upgraded their video games for new consoles ever since video games were a thing. Unlike modern examples, however, there was no nostalgia driving remakes. Instead, it was typically the result of the vast differences in the kinds of hardware that were available. It was a remake of Taito's Western Gun, with the big difference being that Gunfight was built for systems with a microprocessor installed, which allowed for better graphics and animation. Due to the number of consoles as well as different kinds of PCs, remakes in the early days were defined by the difficulty in porting it, meaning most games didn't change much. Sega's Choplifter, released in 1982, was one of the few to take major liberties with the source material when it was ported to arcades and later the Famicom. Some games were even remade for the same platform. The difference between the original Ultima and its 1986 remake, despite both on the Apple II, is huge. Of course, as time went on, retro gaming began to grow in popularity, and companies realized that remakes weren't just for new hardware or to fix mistakes. They were also a way to revive brands and, most importantly, make a lot of money. In the 16-bit era, Nintendo remade every NES Mario game under the name Super Mario All Stars. It was a hit, and pretty soon more remakes followed. Dragon Quest, Mega Man, Ninja Gaiden, hell, even Pong got remade. Pong, why did that need a remake? The answer is money, of course. It's the reason why compilations became incredibly popular at this time, and it's also why individual remakes became rarer. With the rise of the CD-ROM, it became easier to develop new franchises or sequels to existing ones because of the effort needed to remake games for a new generation. That doesn't mean remakes weren't being made. Games like Doom 64, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, and Resident Evil for the GameCube are some examples. But they cost a lot of money. And why remake a game when you could just make a sequel instead? At this point, we've mostly covered remakes. Remasters only began to emerge in the 2000s, right around the time that the sixth console generation was turning into the seventh. The rise in remasters and remakes coincides with the launching of digital marketplaces like Xbox Live Arcade, the PlayStation Network, and Steam. Publishers and developers realized that by selling older games with improved resolution at budget prices, they could revitalize interest and sales in their catalog. At first, remakes took advantage of this, as games like Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix and Bionic Commando Rearmed were released. These games, as well as indie titles of the era, also proved that nostalgia was profitable. And since newer consoles had better graphics, why not just re-release older games with newer textures? 
thus the HD remaster was born, which has almost become a genre unto itself based on how many games feature that moniker. Let's run through a few. God of War HD, the Sly Cooper Trilogy, the Jack and Daxter Collection, the Uncharted Trilogy, Devil May Cry HD, Metal Gear Solid HD, the Halo Anniversary Collection, the Silent Hill HD Collection, Bioshock HD, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time 3D, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Whew, look, I gotta stop at some point. The fact is, HD remasters are incredibly popular to the point of parody. Publishers can outsource them easily, and since the assets already exist, it doesn't require as much work as a new game. And yet those same publishers are putting in the time and resources to fully remake old games despite the cost in doing so. Capcom put a lot of effort into remaking Resident Evil 2, which is similar to the original in broad strokes but changes so much that it may as well be a new game. Nintendo remade The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Switch using an entirely original art style. And Square Enix will finally launch its remake of Final Fantasy VII in 2020, which is perhaps the most requested remake of all time. Remakes and remasters will continue to be made as long as video games exist. And for those of us who haven't gotten the chance to experience the originals, they're a way of keeping gaming's history alive for newer generations. Though, to be honest, I still really want to know who wanted a medieval remake though.